Okay, guys, I've got to do a bit of physical therapy on the back, which means I've got to walk a bit. Uh, otherwise, you'll get seized up. So, we're going to take a walk today uh, from here to Walmart. I've got to pick up a hot water bottle. I should have picked it up a few days ago, but um, at least I've got my medication. I can uh, at least walk. It hurts the front. Ah, we've always got these dogs here barking. The front of my back really hurt. The front, <laughs> front of my back, my ribs uh, really hurt badly. So uh, I don't know why that would be. Maybe my ribs got cracked or bruised badly too, or something. But anyways, um, what we're gonna do here is go for a little bit of a walk. Once I get off the side streets, the uh, main street here, get onto the side streets where it's a little quieter. And I've got a few people to shout out and thank very much. So let me get back at you when we get to a quieter street and I can think better. All right, I'm a bit on, on a bit more of side streets here. I can talk to you a little better. Now the street sidewalks are very bad they're all bumpy uh, so there's cracks everywhere you just got to watch your step so I don't trip and fall again so head down guys and uh, keep my eyes on the sidewalk now it's nice to take a walk my back I'm on pills so uh, uh, se severe pain pills they work um, my back doesn't feel so bad today it's my uh, it's my ribs that feel really bad today the front of my back or oh, the front of me my back doesn't feel so bad it's my ribs so it's something hard to breathe at times so guys uh, I just thought we'd have a little bit of a discussion on how I'm coming along, what's happening with my my back, and uh, I don't want to get seized up, so I got to keep movement, uh, stretch. It seems weird that your back's broken and you you have to stre stretch. You can't let your let your body hold it tight so then you won't be able to move it after some period of time. So watch for the streets here, the cars. Make sure no cars are coming in any direction. And uh, this is another busy street here. I'll get off of this street onto another side street in a few minutes here. Oh man, let me tell you. Uh, breaking your back is not fun. Uh, it, my front of my, my ribs in the front are really hurting today. So, I mean, they've probably taken a hit too. And, uh, that's probably what I'm feeling pretty good. So, at least I'm out for a walk. And I'm just waiting for the cars to go by so I can get across the street here. Gotta wait for a good opening. All right, so let's go. The big truck coming. So we'll go down another side street here. And where it's a little quieter to talk, guys. Now there seems to be a bit of a park down that way. We'll head down there and see what we've got. But anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a few people that have come forward on the PayPal and trying to help me out a little bit uh, with the CT scan. I did one scan and a doctor's consultation and I should go back in another four weeks for an update to find out if how and things are healing 
uh, if they're healing correctly and what have you. I don't know what you can do about it if it's not healing correctly. But it's uh, an American dollars. I think it costs me just about $400 American. Now I'm a Canadian, so I really can't think in American dollars. I have to think of Canadian dollars because that affects my bank account like that. And I had to borrow the money from a friend here, Benny, uh, to pay for the CT scan so far because I only get paid at the end of the month from the government. And the government doesn't give you very much money at all. And I got some help from some friends. And I don't know whether they want to be named or not, but I will just because uh, to me, it means a lot to me. Let me tell you, it means a lot to me. Uh, I can't believe that people actually come forward and give their hard-earned time and money to help friends out. And we are friends and family, which I've actually never met in person. I've only met this the one uh, person in person. Uh, her name is Colette. She's a fellow Canadian. Lives actually near me. And it was nice of her to come forward and uh, go to my PayPal and make a kind donation so that it would help with uh, offset the costs of my my CT scan and what have you. And uh, dogs are always barking here, no matter what. So anyways, another person that has come by and made a donation is uh the name is michael and he's made a, a nice kind donation to me to help uh to offset the costs of the the uh ct scan like i said and i have to do another scan and you know get everything paid up i think i'm coming to an end street here uh i'm walking the wrong way guys Hang on, I might have to go through through this park. Get to the other side and see if I can get through here. Do I have to go back? Yeah, I came to the end. I am walking down a wrong street here, down the wrong way. So I gotta go back and we will and we will take the next street over I'm trying to get to Walmart so anyways guys that was Colette who came by, came forward and uh, went through my PayPal and donated a few dollars and Michael who came forward and donated a few dollars and there was another person from Canada one guy that I follow very nice soul uh, and his name is uh, Dave and I'll put all their uh, links to their channels so that you can go and check them out and Dave didn't have to either but he made a video on his channel about me when I fell and broke my back and usually when you think of a broken back it's like you're out of commission you can't move you're paralyzed or what have you well that's not really uh, true in every case it all depends on where you broke your back whether it be the upper part of your back or the lower part of your back or in the middle my break on my back was in the middle of my back Thank the Lord it wasn't my upper back or my neck because that would mean some sort of paralyzation and uh, it wasn't my lower back my lower back has been operated on twice for a herniated disc 
twice in my life and I got instant relief from that operation but this time there is no you can't operate on a broken back you just have to accept what it is now if you had a uh, broken arm broken leg it, you could put a cast on it and you're fixed more or less but when you get a broken back unless it's your spine is broken I guess you could put a cast on that but for me there is no there is no putting a cast on and if you look back at my videos there you'll see that what has broken on my back is at least not the vertebrae the spinous uh, I forget the name of the word but it's the little bone that comes out the back towards your back that's what you feel when you run your fingers down your spine at the back that's the bone that you feel there it's not your vertebrae so if my vertebrae had while well, they probably took heavy trauma and uh, probably a slight cracking in that also but the biggest was uh, cracking on the on the uh, spinous bone there that took the big hit and uh, they say it's T I don't remember the numbers T4 T5 T7 T8 somewhere in there that was actually broken they're not just cracked they're broken so anyways guys I feel so humbled it brings me to tears that people can come out and help the way they did and it's it doesn't end there it's an ongoing thing here uh, I will probably be in some kind of pain or distress for the rest of my life uh, being as old as I am I, you just can't bounce back from these things but oh man it's just I'm sorry it happened but it did and I'm so thankful for people come by to help me I don't I've never asked I've never asked for anything in my life from anyone and it hurts me to ask to say can you help me sorry guys I Just to think about it. Why, why would anybody, why would anybody reach in their pocket and help me? I'm just one of your simple nobodies. And I have such wonderful family and friends online of people who I've never ever seen in real life I want to thank each of you for the from the bottom of my heart please accept my apologies for anything and thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you've done for me Anyways, it's does no good to sit and, and whine about it. It is what it is. If I knew I was going to fall and break my back, I obviously would never have done that. Something I never did on purpose. Why would I do something so stupid and do that on purpose? Well, thank you guys very much and I will always keep you guys in my my memories and let me tell you when I get at least a little bit better I hope the wind isn't affecting the audio but when I get to feeling a little better and I you need help I will be one of the first ones to come out and offer my assistance to help you. 
thank you again from the bottom of my heart, guys. And if I have some more for the rest of the day, I will pick it up a little later and come back to you. Thanks, guys.